What's going on guys? It's the Bourbon Hunter. You know what time it is. We're going bourbon hunting. This time we're in Savannah in Statesboro, Georgia. Let's go see what we can find. All right, here we go. Walking down this aisle. We got some pretty cool things straight out the gate. I mean, honestly, look at this. And then you got Smug Wagon, uncut, unfiltered. Yeah. Boss Mark. Now, can someone explain to me why that is so expensive for the Lost Monarch? That's not the cast strength or anything. Do not understand that at all. Nita's Choice, a little local South Carolina thing down here in Georgia. Eagle Rare sit on the shelf. Really, really cheap compared to what you see it somewhere in South Carolina. Magnus Reserve. Wow. Garrison Brothers out there from Texas. A lot of subscribers are telling me about this one right here, but I don't know, man. They start putting stuff on bottles and I start falling out of love with it very quickly. Look at this. Single barrel rushes. Check that out. B522 Larceny. Not bad. Check the early times. Oh, no luck on the early times. Got a whole barrel selection down here. The New Year. It's got the New Year, the Vantage, the Infinity Project, and the whole thing. Really cool. I believe this is the new one. I believe that's the new one. Yep, the Sherry Cask. Wow. Five Trail Unbroken. Apparently won some awards at some point. Doc Swenson. We have that in South Carolina. Got a little Frey Ranch here. It's a love-hate relationship for most people in the fan base, from what I've heard. Check these out. These are real nice. Uh, the bottle looks interesting, but everybody said they liked it. I don't know about that price, though. Check that out. Oh, man. I got some nice stuff over here. CYPB, Weller, Foolproof, Special Reserve, Blantons. What the f***? What the f***? little orphan barrel oh man look at those stag jr and everything fiddler man russell's 13 will it purple tops <laughs> will it purple top nine year check that out 126.4 proof. I got to try the nine year not too long ago and I really, really enjoyed it. It was great. Oh man, what is that? I love those. Oh man, I wish I could get my hands on those. Those are nice. I've been looking for those Redwood Empire cast strength for so long. Got some E.H. E. Taylor single barrel, straight rye, and the small batch up there. Check that out. Jack Daniels 10 and 12 year here. Looking good. I don't know much about these smoke wagons right here. Does anybody know anything about these? That's a rye smoke wagon. Let me know in the comments about that. They got a drive through. What? About to go up in this. So we have Buffalo Tree. Buffalo Trace out right now. Yep. We don't always put it out. Okay. If it's there, well, Eagle Rare and Sazerac Rye. It, they'll come in, they'll find it right here. Yeah, so Sazerac and stuff like that. Eagle Rare's on the shelf too? Most of the time. Yeah, look at that. $50. Yeah. A little Russell's Reserve single barrel for $56. Ooh. Love me some Redwood Empire. $39 in Charleston. Only $35 here. Check that out. What else? Short barrel? Hmm, not sure about that. Don't know anything about that. How about some local brands? Is there any local brands here? 13 colonies down here, $39.99. Everybody's going crazy about their double oak, so if you ever see it, let me know. Love to try it. Hmm, oh look, Benchmark Foolproof for $25. Check this out. Benchmark Foolproof, bonded, small patch, and everything. I've had the old Elvis cigar cut. Mm -hmm. um, this is much better and cheaper. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Good times, $109 cigar cut. 
supposedly better than the old elk she says is this local this this is from atlanta this is was my favorite store pick up until this came this is the it. the rebel yeah every store in south carolina where i'm at has a store pick of rebel really? now i haven't tried any of them and i heard he said well, we're gonna try we some. could we could sample some stuff Knob Creek. yeah a lot of people got this too but i want to try it I want to try it because they're all different. Oak you have a store pick of Oak and Eden? Mm -hmm. I have to try this because I've never had Oak and Eden before. We've got the four grain and the bourbon. The four grain Spire. and the bourbon spire. At George Dickel. Wow. This is a fantastic. A George Dickel store pick? Yeah. This is a fantastic wow. tequila. If you like tequila. Oh, wow. A little tequila action for you guys out there. A little blue note store pick. Definitely check this out. Look at that, 121.3. Mm. Ooh, Starlight single barrel, 115 proof. Nice. We kind of run out of room, honestly. Okay, that's good though. That's a good problem to have, right? This is 8.99 for benchmark small batch. Some blue runs. Whatever nonsense this is. Gotta love it. Oh, this is cool. Any of you golf fans out there? Um, might be worth bringing to the course and waxing a bottle off of this. Russell Single Barrel is here in droves. If you want Russell Single Barrel, this is the place to get it. A little Heaven's Hill, Bottom and Bond, Old Ezra, that I can finally pronounce, I think. A little Single Barrel action. These are all the starlights they have out here. Pretty cool. This price on the barrel products is crazy good he has, I believe look, he at has these, look at these look at these prices eighty dollars for barrel vantage come on that's good check out this garrison brothers up here what is that cowboy bourbon huh any of y'all know about that let me know i don't know anything about that one all right taste test time rebel cast strength here we go 126 man check that out all right Mm. Mm. All right. Yeah, I see what you're saying now. That's that's good. It's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sweeteners. Mm. That's a ten. 121 proof really sips a lot lower than that, like 105, 110 maybe. That's pretty. That's pretty good. I would say. That's my first Rebel experience, and it is a pleasant one to say the least. Oak and Eden, four grain inspired. Here we go. Look how dark this is. Wow. Mm. Dang. Talk about wood straight to the tongue. Like I'm looking on the side of a tree. The spire in this. I mean, that is weedy and grainy, oaky. I mean, it's something. It's something. Nah, I don't think that one's for me at all. Put that one back down. Good time cigar that is supposedly better than the old elk cigar cut. Here we go. What proof is that? That's about 110 or so. 116. 116. Yeah. Damn, that is good. I told you. I like that. Not quoting me on this, but I think we're one of the only people who have who has good times. Have one of those? I've never seen it before. It's a Indiana, so it's probably an MGP cigar blend. That's not bad juice though. Which one of you out there made this happen? Oh, tell me. You're responsible for this atrocity. Look at all these Nulu's. We don't have Nulu where I'm from. Yeah, Nulu's actually pretty new for us as well. And of course you got, you know, Smoke Wagons, Bardtown. Yeah. Um, I do have Evil Rare. We have the counter. Oh, y'all keep it back there? Yeah. How much y'all charging for that? $50? $49.97. Yeah, what else you got behind the counter? That's where all the good stuff's at. Don't get me wrong, I have a whole lot of stuff in there. Johnny Drone. Hanging out. God bless. I wish I knew about Johnny Farm. I... Yeah. 
Check this out, Knob Creek, 120 proof single barrel, $49.99. One of the cheapest prices for a 120 proof Knob Creek I have seen anywhere. Check this out, hand barrel with some nice wax on it. Single barrel, small batch, nope. Nice wax, look at that, $76 for something I can't even see the color of. Hold on, here we go. Barrel number, bottled, okay. Um, interesting, any other information? Only 105 proof? Hmm, interesting. These are absolutely some of the worst prices I have seen today. I mean, these are miserable. Look at this. Look at some of this stuff. You know what? You know what blew my mind? This disgrace. Twenty-nine dollars in other stores, and they're charging seven. Oh my gosh! It's not even allocated anymore. Look at this. Look at this toasted barrel. How how is this even real? I feel like I'm in fairy tale land right now. This is insane oh but then this is a normal price so are they just pulling these out of their ass look at this look they uh put it together how cute is that 59 at least it's sitting on the shelf 72 dollars for henry mckenna golly man look they're charging that much but they have stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks of Eagle Rare. It's like they don't want to get rid of it or something. This is insane. There's boxes and boxes of the stuff. Taller than me. It goes all the way to the ceiling almost. Look at this. Three deep. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh man, look at these. Birthday bourbon, Stag Jr., Michter's 10 year bourbon and rye. A Blue Note 17. I've never seen that. Some old Carters. Look at that. Booker's. Wow. Elijah Craig 18. Uh, Blood Oath Pack 8. Single Barrel. Special release Jack Daniels. Old fits for fifteen hundred dollars. Check that out. Wow. Wow. Freaking museum prices in here. Look at that. Twenty year Mictors. You got the Bomb Burgers. Wow, is that Bomb Burgers twelve hundred dollars? Mm-hmm. Wow. Isn't the MSRP for that Bomb Burgers like a hundred dollars or something like that? Check that out, look. There's the official price. Wow. Prices go up like crazy. But I know. People can't get the stuff by, that's the thing, you know? It's your fault. Blanton Black Label, wow. I hadn't seen that in person. Check that out. Blanton Black Label, Willet Purple Tops, Blade and Bow 22 year, wow. That's expensive. Wow, is that just regular Blanton's for $250? Ooh. Wow, how long has that been sitting there? <laughs> not long. Really? They not go. long? There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Old Forester Barrel Strength. Single barrels. Stacy's pick. $99.99. Handcrafted. Wow. <laughs> we are about to run out of this store. Dude, that store has some problems. Don't come here. Crazy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to support us here and join the Discord. We're building a great community over there. And as always, Bourbon Hunter out. I don't know if you could tell, I was getting hot as hell in that store. So I had to really sit in the car for a second and cool down. 